Hello viewers, in this video we are going to solve this equation which says if root 3x squared plus 10x minus 5 is equal to 0, find the value of x. It's a radical equation. Notice that negative 5 is not under the square root sign. So we can start by moving it to the right hand side so that the equation becomes root 3x squared plus 10x moving negative 5 to the other side to be equal to 5. To clear the radical, we need to square both sides. So I have root 3x squared plus 10x squared equal to 5 squared. Squaring this will clear out the square root sign. So I have 3x squared plus 10x equal to 25 and that means 3x squared plus 10x moving this 25 to the other side will be minus 25 equal to 0 this is quadratic let me solve it by factorization you can also use a, a quadratic formula but in this case i'm using factorization so 3x squared multiplied by negative 25 that is negative 75 s squared and look for two factors of negative 75 s squared that can add up to this middle term which is 10x the factors are 15x and negative 5x so once we get the factor we replace the middle term 10x with the factors so that the equation becomes 3 s squared plus 15x minus 5x then minus 25 equal to 0 now group it 2 by 2 3x squared plus 15x and minus 5x plus 25 equal to 0 this minus 10 to plus because of the brackets i introduced and in the first bracket 3 S is common, so factor it S plus 5. In the second, 5 is common and S plus 5 equal to 0. We have a common factor S plus 5. And we group this and this together as 3x minus 5 equal to 0. It's either S plus 5 equal to 0. Or 3x minus 5 equal to 0. That means s equal to negative 5 or 3s equal to 5. Hence, s is negative 5 or if I divide both sides by 3 then s equal to 5 over 3. But the question says we should find the value of s that satisfy this equation here. So of all the values of S, the two values, let's check which one satisfy the equation. The values are negative 5 and 5 over 3. And let me write it up here. S equal to negative 5 or 5 over 3. Let's check with negative 5 by substituting it into this equation. Let's see whether we arrive at 0. I have root. 3s square plus 10x and minus 5. The minus is outside the square root sign. Now that will be root 3 times negative 5 square plus 10 times negative 5 and minus 5. Let's see whether we're arriving at 0. That will be root uh, negative 5 squared is 25, 25 times 3 is 75, then 10 times negative 5 is negative 50, then minus 5, which is outside the square root, 25, uh, 75 minus 50 is 25, 25, and minus 5, let me write that way. have root 
25 minus 5. Our root 25 is 5. 5 minus 5 is 0. Since we arrive at 0, that means S is equal to negative 5 is incorrect answer. Let's check for 5 over 3. Again, our equation is 3S, I root 3S square. With 3S square, let me write it here so that I'll have access to it. N minus 5. Let's see whether we arrive at 0. That will be root 3 times x. Now is what? 5 over 3. 5 over 3 square plus 10 times 5 over 3 and minus 5 which is root 3 times 5 square is 25 and 3 square is 9 plus 10 times 5 is 50 over 3 let's reduce the fraction 3 a 1 3 a 3 the half minus 5 square root of 25 over 3 plus 50 over 3 minus 5 25 plus 50 is 75 and that is root 75 over 3 minus 5 75 divided by 3 is 25 root 25 minus 5 which is still 5 minus 5 which is 0 we also arrive at 0 that means the two values of x s equal to negative 5 and s equal to 5 over 3 are both correct for this equation hence the value of x is negative 5 or 5 over 3 and that brings me to the end of this I hope you found it useful if you do don't forget to like the video and also subscribe to my channel for more video like this thank you